Hi guys, it's been a while. My family and I, my wife and four kids and I, we went on a tiny getaway a couple nights in Denmark. It was uh, very nice visiting some friends there. When we got back, it was snowing, blizzardy all the way home and um, overnight they came 20 to 30 centimeters of snow which was pretty awesome so I'm just checking on everything here I plowed the snow already this morning it was just on the border that the four-wheeler was able to push through that then the wire that you guys know you have seen this on the videos it was damaged um, it broke off so it can't lift the snowplow up anymore finished with the tractor gonna have to repair that doing an interview this afternoon for a um, for a magazine then um, gonna check on a bunch of other stuff here if everything is the way it should we had two more geese arrived this week so bunch to update on but let's get started I'm amazed that the cows haven't gotten out the snow um, has pushed down all of the wires it's just white let's see here hi guys grounded so cows won't get any shock. Hi guys. Yeah 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 the new cows are still very anxious. Kind of had to cut down on the bonding time now that I was gone. That's why your here is completely smashed into the ground. Oh goodness, here you guys see how deep this is. You know when you live this kind of life, there are a lot of challenges. One is the weather obviously, but right now I'm have a, I am have a tennis elbow. I've had issues for the last months, but it's just getting worse and worse. I've gotten some treatment, have to go in again. Um, it hurts really bad, I can barely use my left arm with certain movements right now. I uh, can't even hold a cup of water sometimes. So, there are always different challenges and if something like that happens, you know, then you're fairly limited. But it has to go on. The cows have to be fed, the sheep have to, the, excuse me, the chickens have to be taken care of. All the animals have to be taken care of. Let's talk geese a little bit geese we've pretty much just had as guard geese we have butchered a few for our own use the snow last night pushed all the fences down for even for the geese so they're walking there freely right now and what I love about geese is the fact that they eat just grass in the summertime you don't have to buy any feed you don't have to grow any feed it's the grass and uh, we use them as guard geese but we um, have had little geese, we've hatched them in my hatching machine which has worked really well for us um, but then the fox got our male goose and um, the other ones were too young so um, didn't do a good job, it takes a few years longer uh, with the geese till they are um, ready to be breeding and um, now we will soon get a different kind of goose because this particular breed that we have here it's an old Swedish breed but has a lot of um, issues with it with inbreeding because not so many people working with it so I, I'm not really so interested in the goose in itself in the breed um, I don't have the time and energy and money to be breeding with this um, animal so I just have them as guard geese and a little bit for our own meat so what we're going to do is, we're going to um, buy a goose, an Italian goose, and um, a male one that is going to do a good job, hopefully, 
and he's also gonna be the one guarding my chickens then because I found that males work a little better than females So the chicks are doing fine as you can see here. They're growing a lot. The time will come for me now very soon to separate them. And uh, very soon the first chickens will be picked up. So you can see I have a chick that's um, two and a half year, weeks old um, it's a, one of the breast chicks and you can see that the comb on top um, is fairly big already so it's a rooster you can tell this very early on these chicks and now the legs are getting blue as well as you can see and this is a healthy little boy here hmm? You have to watch out now, sometimes they jump over, um, usually they don't, but if something happens or stresses them, then very soon I'm going to move them over now. We're expecting really cold weather again, so I want to make sure that they'll be warm enough there. I'll put a heating lamp there as well. Even though we've just been gone two nights, Coming home, you just feel quite detached from everything because the chickens grow so fast and new geese arrived and the cattle that you didn't know so well yet have been without you for two or three days and just takes a little bit getting used to um, the changes that happen so fast in an environment like this. welcome all the new subscribers to our channel in the last while we've gotten a lot of new subscribers really appreciate this um, it's really awesome to see how many people are interested in following this journey I want to encourage you to go back and check out the videos that we have um, posted over the last year and a half we have an appointment for Sally and the bull uh, not the kind of appointment they wish for um, it'll be in the, in the beginning of April. Um, we've had a drought last year, which is over now with all the snow and rain we've gotten, but um, a drought last year which resulted in that many farmers couldn't get all the winter feed in and they are sending a lot of animals uh, to be processed and uh, there's such a long waiting list because of that. Fortunately, prices are okay. Well, we're gonna send ours to a little local place, not one of these industrial places, but a little local butcher shop where uh, we know the owner, we um, we can decide how long we want our meat to hang there, we can bring the animals in a stable there where they can calm down and relax overnight um, very nicely. Um, he packs the meat and we sell it to the customers right away. So that's gonna be good. Winter still has a good grip on our farm. You can see here some snow coming down the roof, but we're expecting really cold weather very soon here. Um, gonna keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.